Hey everybody, welcome to the Snare Man Podcast. I'm your host, Ronnie Deal. Uh, tonight we're going to make a couple of coyote snares. Somebody asked if I could show pretty much from start to finish slower <laughs> uh, how we make our coyote snares. So this is 564 1x19 cable. Um, these are 60 inches long. I already pre-cut them and I already marked them. I don't know if you can see that mark on there, right about here, is where the deer stop will go. I mark them when I cut them. So, <clears throat> what I'll do is, we use double furls on the ends of everything. So, I'll take a double furl, put it on the cable, right? Put the other end into the double furl. I got a little jig here, right? Pull the cable down. Okay. I'll put it in the swagger. And I'll crimp it. Okay. Then what I do is I take the end of it. And I use this bar here. It's got a little notch in it. And I'm going to load the snare. And uh, we showed loading on the previous video. So I take the... Put it around the bar. And just work it a little bit, put a little memory into it. Pretty much want it to look like a candy cane. That would be loaded. Okay. Then I take the snare, I'll come around, bring it around. I'll take my needle nose pliers. <clears throat> I'll grab the underneath the furl where the pliers are. And I'll bend it back on the right side, and bend it back on the left side. <clears throat> okay. What I want is I want it straight in line with the, the cable. So when I let it go, what I got is a candy cane. Okay. So that's loaded. So what I'll do is I'll take the other end of the cable. And tonight we're new, using newt locks. That's a newt lock. It's got a big hole. Let's see if I can. It's got a. There's a big hole and a smaller hole. What you want to do is you want to take the big hole. Like kind of put it up like this, like a U. Or banana, banana up. And I put the cable in the big hole first. Okay. So what I usually do is I'll take a deer stop and I'll put the deer stop on there now and then I'll grab the other end of the lock and I'll slide it all the way to the end of the cable and I'll take the end of the cable and I'll put it back through the other side the other hole in the lock pull it through which gives you snare loop okay and what I'll do is I'll take a piece of port tubing a little plastic piece of tubing and slide it on the cable use this piece of tubing with some rebar tie wire to hold your snare up and we'll take a 11 gauge swivel we'll put that on the cable take a little flat washer Washer keeps the furrow that I put on the end from binding up on the swivel. I'll take another double furrow. Put the double furrow on the end. Pull it down. <clears throat> Swag it. Then I'll go to the other end. And I'll take my deer stop, because my deer stop's just sliding on there. I'll put the deer stop on the pre-made mark. Okay. And I'll put the snare in the swagger. Like this. What I'll do is I'll crimp it a little bit. Because you don't have to crimp it real hard. 
so it's on there okay and the reason for crimping it while the snare is like this is that the two points of your deer stop now are on the sides so when your animal's in the snare the point isn't digging into the animal the points will be on the sides and There you go. Ready to go. Uh, we'll make one more. Cable. Double furrow. Clip it down. memory Put that in there my pliers bend the ends both sides once you bend it want it all in line straight in line take my lock my gear stop Pull it all the way to the end. Take the other end of my cable. Put it back through the other hole in the lock. Here's your, your loop. Support tubing. For your support wire. A swivel for the end. Washer. Another double furrow. Back to the front half, take my deer stop, put it on my pre-made mark, crimp it down, deer stops on there, ready to go, okay? If there's any other questions you want to ask, just leave them in the comments. And, uh, Tomorrow we'll uh, build something else. So if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Have a good night.